right. So here's the story on the deck. When I put it together, these are all resawn, and you know, it wasn't covered, so I wanted water to be able to escape, so one puddle, whatever. So I made these things. There's a better profile on it. You see it's got an angle on it, and um, this was like a spacer or whatever, but what? That's what it looks like. Got these two by two strips, and now I want them tight together. So what I'm doing is I'm putting a two by four in, taking one of the one strip off, and then so it rests on the two by four. Because right now there's <laughs> it's not very even. Uh, it's seen better days, and then once I get it all put together, then I will refinish it again, and hopefully it'll last a little bit longer. So what I, what I failed to explain on that little description I just gave is what uh, what's underneath there with the metal contraption, which was once a pallet. What's, what's going on with the, the concrete thing? I didn't know exactly where I was going to put the post. So it, instead of continually moving it, I'm like, well, I'll just get these temporary cinder blocks and then... Yeah, we'll go with that because right. they they kind of hold it upright as well so you don't have to worry about you know tipping over even though i think it did tip over on me I'm sure as operator here at some point or probably most of it really but so these two by twos i had them spaced out right well then i'd try and put a two by four in between where the gaps were or whatever yeah and then it would, it would hold the two by fours or them planks apart so i had to take one side off and then put the two by on there. Yeah. And some of these were different, like some were an inch and an eighth, some were an inch and a quarter, some were an inch and a half. It's just when I resaw them, that's just the way they ended up. And then I got to do these, this stupid little cut here because the, where the ends are solid, yeah. you know, it got to notch around for that. And one of the challenges of, well, besides the fact that I had anything to do with it, which was enough challenge to begin with, but, uh, when you when you move them since they're at a 45 you move them a little bit and then that changes the length and being that i wanted to have the solid two and three quarter inch piece on the end you know i couldn't just cut off the end so i'd have to cut off the other end and so why did you run why didn't you run the metal all the way over the board piece? i only had so much <laughs> maybe that has something to do with why it's on even oh i i i, I would be willing to bet because if you watch when i'm walking on it you can see it moving uh but we don't, we don't talk about that. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, <laughs> eliminating the gap on there meant it shrunk. And where does one go by two and three quarter by 14 inch timbers? Yeah. No, I'm asking where does one go do that? <laughs> I don't know either. So go buy one? that's why I went with some. Uh, to some fillers of whatever in Menard's crap head. Crap head? It should fit nicely in there. So I want to move it around and then it won't fit nicely anymore. Yeah. What a great design though. I mean, nice and quiet when you walk on it. Yeah, really quiet. <laughs> no cracks or freaks No, none at all. Oh, we gotta take some more out of that. Should've just measured it. Should have. I didn't have that fancy tape that you have. Yeah. <laughs> I know. But th that's, of course, the same thing that's underneath the lean to in the back. Them two by four frames. We and just threw one of the orange things away today. Oh, yeah. The, the th <laughs> they went into the corner post. All right. So, I don't know if you remember this, but those those timbers came from Hudson Sprayers, which is just down the street. I do the, remember. Then. When they moved out of that building, which is now the confluence, they moved out to the industrial park, and then they ended up closing, but I still went to their dumpster when they moved and found these pallets in there. So 
it's did all. Did you get him delivered from the? Uh, the the timber timbers I did, yeah. Uh -huh. He dropped a dumpster in front of the house and helped me get him out of there. Yeah. That was awesome. That's a first and only. Yeah. Then we're back to. What a lot of work, you know. You know they're not light. Let's see, is it right here where you step on it? And, yeah, see it move. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here's how I just move everything out of the way. I suppose you're one of them that thinks, okay, I'm going to take a shelf down. I should take everything off the shelf first. Yeah. No, no, we don't do that. Yeah. Oh, there's that middle link to keep catching. Yeah. You just have to take the wheels off this thing to make it easier. I did take the wheels off and put them under the uh, table saw. And then they're here. Different wheels. Different wheels? Yeah. Don't, 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 they're not interchangeable. No, they're red and orange. Don't compare them wheels. Yeah. No, those ones on the tail side are nice. And that ones that were on there, just that leg kept hitting. Yeah, yep, and then it'll be a matter of open the next one up. You know, I don't know if you remember, but before that corner hole, it was never, you'd step on it and you'd fall through it. And, yeah. Yeah. So, that was a challenge. Again, I had something to do with it, so why would I expect it? <laughs> Look at how curvy that board is. Pretty strong though, huh? Yeah, Douglas fir, old growth. Old growth? Yeah. So grown a long time ago? Yeah. You know why it matters? Why? Because they there was already a canopy in the woods, whatever, so like they had to, there wasn't as much sun, water, so they grew slower, which meant that rigs were tighter. Right. Where now if they do a clear cut and then they plant a bunch of trees or whatever, they all grow at the same time, so it's a relatively... How long does it take to grow? I have no idea. 100 years? Oh, probably more than, yeah, probably. But yeah, some, the, how tight some of that grain is. Oh, that, that looks all right. Look at that. Yeah. Almost fits. A little rocky, yeah. Huh? They'll go away, I'm sure. Yeah, screw it down. No, no, didn't screw them down. None, almost none of them are screwed down. Right now, even? Yeah. Almost none of them, yeah. They're screwed to each other. On some, like in this, that corner where I'm working now, they're screwed together, but none of them are screwed down. Okay. Does anything to do with them rocking? Well, I mean, I'm sure it's got something to do with it. Yeah. Plus, you know, initially when I, when I planed them, I had them have a slope on it, so they came to a peak. So it shed water. So it shed water? It shed water, yes. No, I don't need that. No, I don't, no, I don't need that. Which is why, like in the middle, you see more of the green is lighter than in the edges. Because it's, the edges are... Well, I guess we can talk about that in a later video. <laughs> or maybe not. We'll see how this one turns out. Yes, see how far. But, uh, yeah. Man, that was a lot of work. You can see the cup you there. You're watching it. It does. Okay, so now we're putting metal on. I say we, I mean me and me. Where I screwed up on this is I have plenty of it, right? So why I reused the stuff I had on there before was really dumb. Yeah. Because there's screw holes in it. Oh, yeah. And then water gets to those screw holes. Where I could see them from up above, I was able to just put a little bit bigger screw in there and I'll tighten it up or fill the hole. But where I couldn't, it didn't. And then there's a spot right where I'm standing now that the foot, I don't know if you notice, but the one panel turns. 
it's not at all straight. I mean, it doesn't technically matter because I'm not using this product at all the way it's supposed to be used, which is pretty standard. Manufacturer's suggestion. What's that mean?